hello welcome to my channel today i will be doing a twist out using these products listed by curls dynasty and they will also be listed in the description box below so let's just jump right into this video i am starting off on freshly washed and conditioned hair and since my hair began to dry up i parted my hair into a large section and added more water just to bring back the moisture and now i am going to begin to add my leave-in smoothie in my opinion, it is best to add your your leave into your hair onto a large section of hair rather than doing it in small parts. Because if you do it in small parts, you might end up using a little too much leave in. So to prevent that from happening, I just put a quarter size onto my hand, rub it together, and spread it throughout a large section of hair. Next, I am going to add in the twisting cream. I am making sure to blend that onto all of my strands very well. And after I am finished getting that throughout all of my strands, I will detangle my hair. One of the keys to a great twist out is to make sure your hair is smooth and detangled. Next, I will be adding a little bit more cream to my ends just because my ends are a little dry. I'm going to smooth that all over. And next I will be adding my mousse and in my opinion it is very important to add a mousse or a gel to your styling creams while doing a twist out or a braid out to give yourself some extra hold and definition because creams tend to give you extra moisture but no hold my preference is to use a mousse because it seems to blend in better and mix well with other products and also, you can find a mousse or a styling foam at your local beauty supply that says Firm Hold. And those are the ones that I buy, the ones that says Firm Hold. And right here, I am doing my two-strand twist. And I'm going to wipe off the excess of the product, twirl my ends, and move on to my next twist. Once I am finished twisting my hair, I will be back.
Next, I will be showing you a close-up of this two-strand twist. And look at the end of that twist. When I see that on my two-strand twist or my braids from my braid outs, I will snip that off. I am not the person to wait six to eight weeks to clip my ends. If I see any of my twists looking like that, I will just snip it off immediately so it won't cause any further damage and also it will make your styles look a whole lot neater. Okay, it is now the next day and my hair is completely dry. I already began taking down my twist. I did add an oil to my fingers before separating. Once I am done separating all of my twists, I will continue to separate to give myself some fullness. And guys, just don't be afraid to play around with your hair because, because sometimes you just have to go the extra mile to get that style, that twist out, that braid out to turn out right. So. What I do is take my pick and I will lift my roots. I will lift my roots and I will fluff with my fingers. I will separate with my fingers and I will just keep playing around with my hair until I get it to look right. Once my hair is presentable and I'm satisfied with the look, the style is complete. I add an edge gel to my edges. And then that's the final look and I hope you enjoyed my video if so could you please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you will be notified for all of my future videos thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video and have a great day